Hi, welcome to my new vlog post. Today I'm going to be talking about when your old friends and your new friends don't get along. They don't like each other. What reasons could there be for that, first of all? Well, it could be jealousy or insecurity. There could be a genuine dislike or distrust of your old friends versus your new friends. One toward the other, either way or both. There could be discrimination. Your old friends may not like your new friend because of their race, religion, or culture. Anything like that. Or your new friends and your old friends may have already had a run-in. They didn't know that they all knew you, that they're all friends of yours when this happened and then they meet and ouch. <laughs> oh, that could be uh, a pickle. Or your new friends or your old friends could be embarrassed by the other. The looks, they're too loud, they're bold, they're uh, obnoxious, they feel that they're obnoxious, or they have this laugh that's kind of different, <laughs> um, anything like that. Your old friends or new friends could think the other is too controlling of you. They also could think that maybe the other is a bad influence on you. Either the, this could go both ways. All these could go both ways. The new friend could think that your old friends don't have a good influence on you. The old friends could think the same thing about the new guy in town. The new friend could be intimidated by your friend's wealth or status or clothes that they wear and feel bad about it and resent them for that. So, what do you do about it? Well, first of all, stay calm. Don't go into some rant about it. Don't spout off about it to anybody. Talk to your friends separately about it. See what they feel and tell them how you feel. What are they thinking? What are you thinking? Have a, an honest, private conversation with each of them so you can really clear the air and really find out why your friends don't like this person. What did this person do to make them distrust them so much? It's important to find that, find that out. Maybe it's petty stuff, but it could be serious stuff too. They may know something that you don't know about this new person. Or the new person could actually know something about the old friends that you don't. So it's best to just clear the air, get everything out in the open, talk to them privately, and see if you can't figure something out, you know, and solve that issue. Because you're going to be around 
all of them, and they're going to cross paths, most likely. You don't want World War III going on every time you get together. You don't want to worry about a fist fight, fist fight breaking out every time you guys get together. You don't want that. You don't need that aggravation. You need to clear the air right from the start. Okay, then you can arrange, if you think it's safe, if you think it's a good idea, to have them come together and meet together in a neutral area and talk about their differences. Talk about their similarities. Find commonality. Maybe they both like the same movies. Maybe they both like the same music or activities. Maybe they both like motorcycles. Maybe they both like the arts. Anything. Grasp at anything you can to help get them together. To get them more civil toward each other. And to hopefully become friends too. And listen, when you, this is really when they're when you're talking to them individually, and also when they're together too. But uh, make sure to listen to to the people that you're talking to. To each friend, make sure that you listen to them, and they know that you're hearing them, and that you understand where they're coming from. So they can appreciate that. You are asking them where they're coming from and what the deal is. You need to actually listen to what they say. And also use I statements. I feel this way when you do this. When you do it, I feel bad when you... Yeah, say bad things about my new friend. You're putting it on yourself. You're saying what you actually feel. You're not saying, well, when you are an idiot because you don't like my new friend. That's not going to get you anywhere. Uh, make it from you. Make them aware of your feelings when they do something. It's not that you are hating on them. You just don't like what they're doing. There's a big difference. You love these people. You love your friends, but you don't like what they're doing. And you need to express that in those I statements. And then, of course, talk to your friends together. And... Find common ground. Find common interests, like I said. And see how you can grow that friendship. Grow that trust. And that could be from just having them get together often. You don't have to be together all the time. Everybody together all the time. But now and then, bring them together and... Maybe play games or something that's really neutral on neutral ground and, and you know, go to a concert or do something, go to an event at a park someplace, someplace or go uh, to any type of event that you all have in common that you all like to do. And the more that they're together, the more they may bond. So it's not maybe going to happen every time, but you can give it a shot. And plan other outings. Plan these outings quite often until you either find out that there is no hope or... or They've bonded. See how it goes. Now, what other things can you think of that you can do 
to help bring your uh, opposing friends <laughs> together and make make the situation a lot more comfortable for everybody. I'd like to hear what you have to say. I'd like to hear your ideas. Either shoot me an email at amy at acnlifecoach.com or you can post the comments below this video. I'd love to hear from you. Hope you're having a great day. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.